My name is Uwe Benkel. I'm the leader of Arbeitsgruppe Vermisstenforschung. And before I start my presentation, I would like to thank some persons that are very important to me. First of all is uh, Michael Christian. He is the uh, owner of a film production company in Bockenheim. And he covers all our films, our presentations. And uh, also I would like to thank Brigitte B. Küchenkultur in Grünstadt. They all support our work. Thanks to them. I'm born in December 1960. Um, I'm a resident of um, Heltersberg, Germany. I'm married to my wife Martina and we got four kids, two boys and two girls. And uh, in 1989 I started with the research uh, because of an event that happened one year before 1988. It was the air show disaster in Ramstein Air Base. This was when some airplanes collided during an air show and uh, one of the planes or two of the planes they crashed into the uh, spectators and uh, and um, almost a hundred people were killed so this is what made me start thinking because i lost some of my uh, friends in that disaster too and afterwards it was very hard for them uh, for the officials uh, for the doctors to identify the remains of my friends because of uh, DNA and they were badly burned so it was uh, very hard and it was also very sad. When I first started my research uh, I had to begin from scratch and it, uh, yeah, our first projects it took a very long time before we got any results but uh, right now 26 years later we uh, recovered uh, the remains of almost 150 aircraft all over Germany, including the human remains of uh, 50 missing pilots of World War II. And um, I have uh, this group, Arbeitsgruppe Vermissenforschung. It's me and uh, about 30 uh, people that's uh, supporting the work, that's helping. is a reservist from the German military and there's almost a thousand people all over the world. And uh, through the uh, medium internet, it's very easy in these days to get in contact and to get information from all the museums, from the archives all over the world. And... Um, we are the number one in Europe and um, like in America uh, I got a nickname, I'm, I'm called the Bone Collector and uh, in England uh, I also got a nickname right now and it's called The Legend. So our intention is uh, to close the last page for so many families history books which are still open more than 70 years after the end of World War II. Okay and uh, my first uh, presentation today is uh, just a short uh, overview and um, it's also I would like to introduce or I would like to show you two projects that we have on British aircraft and um, I will tell you those two stories and uh, when I'm finished with that uh, the next ones are following and it's going to be continued to other projects so many projects first ones are British and the next ones uh, who are going to be American ones okay well, uh, I was talking to the local historian and the mayor of uh, Herstel Gravenhorst and I told them about my plans and uh, they were excited uh, in doing a, like a memorial service uh, towards that crew, the bomber crew. And uh, on November 22nd, 9, 2014, um, we had a, a meeting at uh, the local memorial and uh, there were family members, they came all from all over the world. They came from England, they came from Africa, they came from Australia. And uh, it was a very moving ceremony. The, uh, the German uh, fire department was over there and uh, and also uh, other organizations, local organizations, and uh, the, our guests, uh, they were shown uh, the crash site, and they were shown where the, the family members, uh, where they died, and uh, they, uh, they also were shown uh, where the cemetery was, where the family members first were buried, and then uh, after the end of World War II, they were transferred to a, a British war cemetery, and uh, after that we were sitting around, they were, we were talking a lot and uh, this was like uh, another German and British friendship 
and uh, we became friends and uh, every now and again we are still in contact and uh, the family they uh, they told me that they would like to come over and they would like to bring some more family members to show them the beautiful place the beautiful area where we are and where the family members died and um, so this was also like a, a relief for the family they uh, they now know what really happened. They know the area where the family members, died, where the crew members died during the crash. And uh, yeah, more than 70 years after the end of World War II is uh, time for us to go and take a look in the future, not in the back. Uh, those uh, past days, the, the time of the war, World War II, like death and destruction is over it. So we have, we all have to look uh, forward, forward in our future. And uh, we all have to do everything so those badly wars never will happen again next, uh, the next project okay. i will present is also like the visit of uh, another british family um, this time the plane crashed into a wooden area near Kötterichen. is in the s um, southwestern part of germany in the trier area like north of trier and um, um, I got, first got in contact uh, because family members from that plane crash, Chris, Mr. Chris Hoyle from England, he got in contact with me uh, through the internet and um, I uh, talked to my friends René Karasek from Siegen and Nico Lea and uh, the, the three of us, we went to the crash site first, we were talking to the mayor and we located some eyewitnesses. And when we first uh, went to that crash site in a wooden area, we used a metal detector and we found lots of uh, wreckage pieces that were still buried in the ground. And um, when I came back home, uh, I contacted Chris and uh, he was that excited. He said, oh yeah, in a couple of weeks, me and uh, other, some other family members, we would like to come over and uh, we would like to see the crash site. And, um, and we, w we also would like to see what you found, the wreckage pieces from the aircraft and uh, also the cemetery where the crew members were very where the crew members first were buried and um, on September 27, 2014 was the, the day when the family members, was uh, three of them, when they arrived and uh, yeah, they, we showed them the, the crash site and um, they all were, almost were in tears when they were standing there and Chris said, oh yeah, I can feel the spirit of my family member. It looks like uh, that the spirit is still around and um, like all those years, the spirit was waiting for us to come and uh, to give this uh, this whole uh, situation like a final day or a final ending. And uh, they were very very happy, and uh, they also are very proud uh, to get to got in contact with the uh, Germans. They is, they are doing this type of research because Chris he told me a couple of years ago him and his wife they tried uh, to find uh, the crash site by themselves. They went over to that place in the Kötrischen area, uh, but uh, they had one problem: they don't speak German. And um, they were scared to talk, uh, to get in contact with the German people. So they uh, turned around, they went back to England with no results. And uh, now we gave them the results and they were very happy. And um, he told me uh, that uh, in a couple, couple of months uh, he would like to come back and he would like to bring some more family members like his wife. And uh, this is what happened in 2000. And 15 into eyewitnesses and uh, traveling through Germany uh, every year thousands of kilometers and uh, maybe somebody uh, who, yeah would like to know how uh, how do we finance all our uh, costs for this uh, type of research and I tell them um, that we don't have no no sponsors who, who are sponsoring our our work, our humanitarian work, we all like uh, we use the money from our jobs. So we are still uh, looking for people that's interesting to uh, support our work. So uh, maybe um, to give us some donations so we can keep up our good work. I get uh, almost every day I get uh, emails from all over the world, people telling me, oh yeah, you're doing a great job, but uh, hardly anybody of them know what, uh, how, uh, how we finance it. 
So if there is somebody out there who would like to help us uh, to continue our work, because we, are, we have more and more information, we have more and more projects we have to do, and uh, so we uh, every uh, sponsor is welcome and everybody who would like to support our work is also welcome and uh, you can get in contact with me my name is Uwe Benkel I'm uh, also um, on Facebook and I'm also on YouTube and the internet so when you uh, put in my name into the computer you find in lots of information about me, my partners, the work and you also uh, will try uh, can find uh, yeah, uh, information how to get in contact with us and please feel free when you would like to uh, get in contact and support us get in contact with me also our offer is uh, whenever there is some questions in your family maybe missing crew member or you would like to know where the crew uh, what happened to the crew what happened to the airplane where your family member was part of you also can get in contact with me or my partners so you are welcome we would like to help you all thank you very much and this presentation will be continued in a little while with other interesting projects. Thank you. And uh, also, also to uh, the recoveries that me and my partners are doing, I'm writing books. And my first book that I wrote was a documentary. It's called uh, Gefallen and Vermisst, uh, Fallen and Missing. It's a documentary about the uh, soldiers of World War II from the city of Heltersburg. This is the place where I live. It took me about five years to do research. And um, yeah, this book, uh, you can get it from the mayor from the city of Heltersburg if you would like to buy it. It's a very interesting book, a few hundred pages and a lot of uh, document documentation and also original photographs. My next book uh, that I wrote was a couple of weeks ago. It's a documentary about the airplane crashes in the Homburg area. And uh, this one uh, I wrote, it took me about three to four weeks. And this also, um, it covers the, the crashes of some aircraft, uh, very interesting crashes with the or original documentary photographs. And it's also the story about an American airplane that's still missing and we found the first parts of this airplane. And uh, we found also some eyewitnesses and um, they showed us the place where the plane crashed. Uh, we located uh, the site and we found some wreckage pieces and uh, the pilot is still missing in action. And uh, when we start our digging over there, we are pretty sure that we're going to find the remains of this missing pilot. And also this booklet, uh, you can order it. When you, uh, when you write uh, an email to me, and uh, it's very interesting, I'm going to sell the copies uh, about 7 euros for the, ex for the, uh, for the book. And uh, this money goes straight into our work. So this is also one part uh, how we finance our, um, our work. Oh. 
It is attributed to KD Clark. It reads, In the marsh, the curlews cry, Beneath the empty bowl of sky, Beneath the sun and flying cloud, Earth my grave and myrtle my shroud. For forty years I have quietly lain In the wreckage of my plane, Bailed up, they said, or lost at sea, but no one came in search of me. A distant cloud dries his tea, and rushes cattle in the stream. In summertime, the cattle tread, heavy footed overhead. Yet somehow in these bones I know, man will devise. Machines that show where metal lies, and he will trace my plane in its last resting place. Then will the lonely waiting cease, and these tired bones will rest in peace. Of course, for our echo, the wait was almost seventy.
come that side and do that side actually. Okay, can I? Okay. I know, it's going to be for me as well. Give me two seconds. Yeah, even more so. No, it's not Olive Woods, it's mine. Okay. <laughs> Two seconds. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. There's one, one additional uh, I would like to tell you, especially for the British and the Americans. Uh, Michael Christian, <coughs> he's not only doing documentaries for our group, for the Arbeitsgruppe Vermissenforschung, he's also uh, documenting like wedding parties and also birthday parties. And he also can convert old films uh, like uh, Super 8 uh, films and uh, VHS cassettes. Uh, he can transfer them onto uh, DVDs and CDs. So if you, uh, if you have some of those old uh, films and you would like to get them converted, you can contact uh, Michael. Uh, on his email address or you get in contact with me and uh, I'm going to tell him he's going to get in contact with you and he's going to do that worldwide so uh, if you have uh, something like that please get in contact with me or Michael. Thank